Don't cry for me, Elsa Lila. The queen is back. Elsa Lila, of course, one thick twice back to back when she was young. She's a huge legend. She's performed at San Remo, and now she's making her return to the fix stage. She actually competed in semi-final two of Festival Cungus with her song Avita, and her daughter was in the audience. It was so emotional. I am still thinking about it all these days later. I'm gonna re-watch her semi-final two performance and react, and then we're gonna have a little chat. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's do this. Now you guys, you may or may not be seeing the video play below. As you know, RTSH and various labels keep blocking, blocking reaction videos, so it's very difficult to include the footage, so I apologize in advance. Luckily, Diego, our blogger, is there taking photographs. All right. By the way, Erdi Tajeki, our Kosovo blogger, has explained to me that this song is all about her love for her daughter. She says, we can count the days, we don't always know who will be around tomorrow. It's essentially a love letter to her daughter, saying she loves spending time with her. All right. Hitting play. So warm and inviting already. That voice. Mm. I like how it's rough, but it's heavenly. She is feeling so much just seated on a chair. Oh, this is the stage. All of this is where the action's happening. She looks fragile, almost broken, because the feelings are so intense. This works with an orchestra. Oh. This is stunning. Ooh, tingles. Even the electric guitar fits. Diva. This is a diva. A Vita D, honey. I love how she's just seated on a chair. Yeah, this is more impactful than people who have six dancers. The way she works her body, these angles, is incredible. This is a whole mood, a whole vibe. You don't want to look away. The control is incredible. You don't want this to end. You want her to keep going. Oh, oh, it's so melodic. The melody is so beautiful. This part. Like a rocky ballad, but it's symphonic. Oh my God, girl. Killing it. Killing it. Wow. Leaning back. Wow. Oh my God. She's whistling. Bring us home. Oh, she got the vibrato going on her whistle. Yes, girl. Wow. You know what? That smacks of San Remo. That is timeless. That is a song you would hear on the radio all over Europe. Language is not a barrier here. The music is universal. These feelings are universal. The way she emotes is so powerful. She's a one-woman show. She does not need anything else. She does not need dancers. She does not even need graphics. She just needs a chair, a mic, and some light. And our girl is good to go. And I think that's really important. If we look at Albania's history at the Eurovision Song Contest, Staging is very hit or miss. Oftentimes, the staging looks underfunded. It looks like artists are having to work with nothing. She doesn't need anything. She literally just needs a chair and she's good to go. She can wear what she's got here, throw it in your suitcase, head to Liverpool, hand you the trophy. This feels like a song that the jury at Eurovision would put in the top five. This feels like a song that that people of all ages would respond to. This feels bigger than Festival Ikungis. This feels bigger than the Albanian music scene. This feels 
I don't know, this feels vital. This feels important. It feels universal. I just really love that. You know, I often go for the ethno bop big power ballads and the dance numbers. Like, I love the Duya song this year from semifinal one, Albina and her family, Cleminda, Clemindi. However, this, this is on a whole nother level. I'm sorry. This does not need to be performative, right? I don't feel like she's performing. She's keeping it real. And in keeping it real, she delivers what may be the best fic performance. I, I mean, I can't remember. This is a whole nother level. The, I mean, wow. Wow. And you know, just how beautiful is this, that she has been through some personal troubles where she was falsely accused by police in Italy of things she didn't do. She's been freed. She's fighting to clear her name. And she's reminding you she has a name and she has a voice because that, that was next level. I mean, if this, this needs to win Festival Congress and this needs to go to Eurovision. I love my girl Albina Clemente, love her, love her family. But this, I mean, this is art. I'm sorry, this is art. This is not, this, there's nothing amateur about this. What well, the great irony, of course, is that Elsa was Albina's coach on The Voice of Albania. And so now it's like student versus teacher. And they're both incredible. To me, it's like those two songs than everybody else. Um, but even at that top, I'd put Elsa on top. This is just, this is magical. There's, sometimes you hear a song and it's just so much more than the competition. You know, I know that Eurovision reflects the real world and music, but certain songs, you know, they're small. Certain songs are small and made for a contest. This song is large and it's made for the world. I'm just so touched by that. I'm so moved by that. I want to watch that again. I want to listen to that again. I want to meet Elsa Lila in person. I don't know if Lila refers to a flower, but our girl is in bloom. Our girl is germinating. She's manifesting. She's manifesting Albania's best result at Eurovision in a long, long time. Dare I say, I don't want to say this could continue. No, I'll say it. I feel like they could have a moment in Liverpool. They could have a Rona Nishalu kind of moment, a powerful moment and be in that top five. They could contend here. This is one of the most beautiful ballads I've ever heard in any competition, national selection, Eurovision, whatever on the, this is incredible. This is incredible. This is incredible. You know, and they didn't even need to, sh they did show her daughter Evita in the audience and that was very touching. You don't even need to know all that <laughs> to feel something powerful is going on on the stage. I'm absolutely floored. And I am sending Elsa Lila and her composer. Who wrote this? Oh my God. Kindone, Elsa Lila. Texty, Elsa Lila. Musica, Elsa Lila. So you know what? Elsa Lila gave birth to Evita. And Elsa Lila gave birth to the song of Vita, honey. So this is mother-daughter domination. Well, that's what I think. What do you think? Do you think Elsa Lila could win Festival E. Kungis with the song Lila? With the song Lila? With the song of Vita? Do you think she'll get the chance to go to Eurovision? Because, of course, the jury decides the fic winner, but the public decides who's going to Eurovision. Let us know what you're thinking down below, and we'll see you later. Bye.